Perfect. We're making solar pizza. Woohoo! Here we are at the Solar Living Institute, and what better place to make a solar pizza? We're going to be using the energy of the sun today and some fantastic organic vegetable ingredients. We've got a traditional dough here made with yeast and flour, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. One of the trickiest things about your dough, especially working outside, is keeping it pliable and not letting it dry out. You want to work it and then let it sit for a minute, let it relax. A little olive oil in the pan so we don't get any sticky stick. Then come back to it in a couple minutes and then stretch it to the shape of your pan. The pesto is a traditional blend of basil, garlic, and nuts. But the special nut is a walnut pumpkin seed blend. And I toasted the pumpkin seeds just a little bit to give them a nice nutty flavor. And one of my favorite sources of protein, hemp seeds. All over, especially along on the crust. Beautiful, nutty flavor. I'm using a nice blend of cheeses of mozzarella, Swiss cheese, and cheddar cheese. And I also have a little Asiago. It's a nice dry cheese. And then a traditional dry Italian Romano. That has the bite. That has the traditional, yeah, that's pizza. And then we have a little fresh oregano, just right out of the garden, freshly dried. Just a little pinch to give it that pizza flavor. Beautiful. That's ready for the solar oven. We're ready to put this in the oven. This pizza's dying to be baked. And now be careful because this oven gets hot. Just the sunlight. Woo! I can feel that radiant heat. Wow. And my pan fits right in the middle here. Perfect. We're making solar pizza. Woohoo! My name is Eva, and I'm an intern here at the Solar Living Institute in Hopland, California. It was pretty amazing to come here and find out that it, only eight years ago, it was actually just a flat plain that was more or less a dumping grounds for Caltrans. The Real Good Store is, is a really interesting building here. It's a passive solar building, which means that it's oriented to the south. All of the glass windows are facing the south. Um, so we get the most solar gain possible. We have a number of gardens, um, a kitchen garden, a farm garden that both support the interns. We have, we have buckets of tomatoes right now. We have tons of heirloom tomatoes and, and, um, and zucchini and lots of vegetables here growing. So we have a wide array of organic produce here. Summer squashes, winter squashes. We have some potatoes, asparagus, pretty flowers. So here we have some great little yellow tomatoes. They're super sweet. I think they'd be great on top of a pizza. Mm. John Schaefer 
uh, started Real Goods and the Solar Living Institute, he had this desire to transform something useless and ugly into, I don't know, a utopia of sorts. Pie number two. We're going to be doing ratatouille pie, which is basically a vegetable stew containing eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, peppers, onions, garlic, lots of basil, and of course a little oregano, salt and pepper. No matter how you cut your pizza, pizza is just like a slice of life. Working with the dough, making it grow, stretching it, careful not to tear holes in it. Maybe it was the Italians that got the credit, but I think it was the hippies that perfected it, especially in a solar pizza oven, dude. Leonardo da Vinci even would be proud of this. Tint structure. And then, of course, I'm going to use hemp seed again, but this time I'm going to put it on the bottom of the crust. Now, there's a solar crust in the making. Now, top this with ratatouille and cheese. Jump back, Jack. We have solar pizza. Beautiful medley of squash, eggplant, tomatoes. Woo! It's gonna be serious pizza. And the cheese blend goes right on top. A nice, a nice pinch of oregano over the top. That gives it that traditional pizza flavor. complement our solar pizza, what could be better than a fresh zucchini, fresh picked right out of the organic garden? You don't think of it, but that's stored solar energy right there. I'm going to whack this zucchini and put a little slice of that on top of my pesto pizza. Can't beat that. It's a pie number two, ready for the oven. Solar, just the way it should be. Ho, 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 ho. Now I said, be careful, these things get hot. This is solar action in action. Here we are at the Solar Living Institute and Real Goods, where you can actually get almost everything under the sun, from wind, solar, water power. This place is great. It has everything really being put to use where you can actually witness it in full swing. I love it. This is the place where you can learn about all the latest technologies, whether it's biodiesel, solar, wind, water power. There's a lot of clean alternative and it's up to us just to go out and find out about them and put them to work. My name is John Schaefer and I am the founder and president of Real Goods and the Solar Living Institute. And we're sitting here by one of the beautiful ponds here in Hopland, California, just 94 miles north of San Francisco. We started uh, back in 1978, started Real Goods, uh, a little store up in Willits, California. And uh, it's kind of a, a respite for people living off the grid. I was living on a hippie commune at the time and wanted to find all of the possible amenities that you could use living off the grid. Uh, we at Real Goods actually sold the very first solar panel in the world. And then along about 1990, we decided that here we were preaching the gospel of environmentalism, but uh, we were doing it out of a, a, a building in the city with uh, you know standard incandescent light bulbs and none of the environmental amenities that we'd been preaching about. So we did a stock offering to our customers and raised about three and a half million dollars and thought uh, what we really ought to be doing is setting up the business in a place where we could truly walk our talk. The idea was to have a parallel universe where people could come off of Highway 101 and jump into this environmental paradise where uh, all of the universe of possibilities was coming to life to show people that environmentalism wasn't some pipe dream of environmentalists, but it was a technology whose time was here now. We have an annual energy event called SoulFest, which draws up to 10,000 people a year, featuring world-class speakers on the environment and social justice, and uh, entertainers and organic food. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Candy Penn. I'm with the Hemp Industries Association. We're the trade group for hemp businesses. We represent about 300 companies. That includes farmers, manufacturers, retailers, and researchers. Hi, I'm John Rulak. I'm the founder of Nutiva. We're an organic food company specializing in hemp foods and also coconut foods. And we're here at the Solar Fest today. Thanks for stopping by. Some people say hemp is not dope, it's hope. The Ninth Circuit Federal Court came back with a decision that yes, hemp foods are absolutely legal. So we're celebrating that decision and uh, hemp foods are growing like crazy now. You can get them at your health food stores and even mainstream grocery stores now are carrying hemp products. So look for them. Come and learn how to make solar pizza and uh, it all happens right here at the Soda Living Center where you get a taste of the sun and every bite of food that's made by the hippie chef. And thanks to the sun, about 45 minutes later, we have a solar pizza coming out. Let's check this thing out. We're talking solar ratatouille pizza. This thing has been in the solar oven maybe 45 minutes on a beautiful hot sunny day. Looks bubbly and brown. I think we have a, a winner. Look at this. Woo! Feel the heat. Wow, it's radiating on my face. Now that's a solar pizza. Woo! Look at that thing. What better way to enjoy a solar pizza than a professional group of solar pizza testers? Hippie Gourmet! Yay! <laughs> I better try a slice myself. The zucchini pizza. I'm going to cut it into little pieces so everybody can get a taste. Why burn charcoal, stinky lighter fluid, when you can use the power of the sun? A beautiful sunny day, just angle it right, pops right up to 375 degrees.
Hippie Gourmet, my favorite TV show.